Welcome Eagles fans and welcome NFL fans to my city, Philadelphia, here week 11 when my Philadelphia Eagles are going to be taking on the Washington Redskins at home. Now last week we played the Green Bay Packers, of course, without Aaron Rodgers, but it's still a professional team. And our team showed a lot of different things in a win, a, uh, an away win, 27-13. to 13. Let's go right down the line a little bit. We're talking first, of course, Nick Foles. Nick Foles, 16 touchdown passes, zero interceptions. I get what I hear about, oh, some of them should have been intercepted, shoulda, coulda, woulda. The fact that he has 16 touchdown passes and zero interceptions, even if it was 12 touchdown passes and four interceptions, still a very good ratio and one that I'll take and I'm not gonna complain about. Willing to throw the ball down the field and willing to throw the ball to Riley Cooper, making him a lot more effective. And something people aren't talking about so much, he is willing to run and he's actually been pretty effective in getting first downs, so that's good. LaShawn McCoy has about 150 yards rushing. Everybody thought that his pr progress is gonna drop down after Michael Vick wasn't gonna be in because he don't have that threat of Vick running. Doesn't matter. LaShawn McCoy still leads the league in rushing yards and looking to go over 1,000 this week. And he did really, really well, especially at the end of the game, which we'll talk about in a second. Deshaun Jackson, of course, getting him involved in a game is very important for our Eagles. Anytime he's involved in a game and he scores touchdowns, we have a really good record. We do very, very well keep that energy up and Deshaun, I'll talk about you in a second as well in a good way, but he likes that energy from the home when we get it. So let's give him that energy at home because he doesn't like all that negative stuff and I get it because I'm kind of the same way. He doesn't like all that negative stuff so this week when we play Washington, we're going to give him the positive at least for a little bit to see what he can do and let him feed up on our energy because it's our team here and we want him to take hold of it and his team as well. Now let's talk a little bit about Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly, he's known for a lot of things, the read option and all that stuff, and fast, 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 fast pace offense. Great, I get it. One thing, Chip Kelly, that you proved this week, you knew how to slow it down. We did really good, scoring some points, and then nine and a half minutes came in the fourth quarter, and then what did we do? We got to the line nice and quick, made that defense get to the line nice and quick, then we slowed it down. Started on our eight yard line and started marching down the field. I think a lot of teams in the NFC or in the NFL are gonna take note of that because I don't think Chip Kelly has showed us everything that's in his plan so far. This is just the beginning. Chip Kelly has now showed us a little tidbit on how he knows when to put the foot on the gas and when to let it go. So our defense made Green Bay punt it away with nine and a half minutes left in the game and then he didn't get back on the field in a good way. And we held on to our lead and won the game. So very good job, Chip Kelly. Now, this is just for Philadelphia, man. I'll tell you what, the last game that we played, the last games we played at home kind of ripped our hearts out because we were really ready to start jumping really on board. Now, you know I'm on board, of course. I mean, what are the nutcases out here doing this mess in the middle of the night? You know we're trying to get on board as Philadelphia fans, but you know what, we came home and we played against Dallas and and first place was on the line. And we stunk it up, we scored three points. In the next game, we almost got shut out against the Giants. And of course you saw my video and I was pretty pissed. And it's almost like we were trying to believe and then our hearts got ripped out of our chest with Dallas and then stopped going against the Giants. Then we went away where we know how to win and we went against Oakland and blew them out. It was great. Then we went to Green Bay and won again. Now we're home again. Now we need to win for a lot of different reasons. And I know I talked about uh, we shouldn't really worry about the playoffs too much this year. Yeah, would it be good? Yeah, it would. But we have to be winning at home. Even when we weren't a good team here in Philadelphia, one thing we did is took care of our games at home. Even when Dallas was winning the Super Bowls and all those other teams were going out and doing some great things, we still won at home. Even last year, we beat Baltimore here in Philadelphia. We need to start winning here in Philadelphia. Now, of course, I'm going to talk a little bit about how Dallas is in our bye week, and we can take sole possession of first place in the NFC with the win. That's an afterthought. But we got to send a message to the NFC East. We got to send a message to the West and NFL that when you come to Philadelphia, you're not coming here for a win. You're coming here to play hard football and to be leaving with a loss. So there's a lot of things to think about here in Philadelphia. 
a lot of things to think about um, with Washington coming in. And one thing that we're not talking too much about, but we got to think about it, is our defense. Our defense is actually playing a lot better. And we did, made some trades. I know Isaac went over to, I think, New England. And ever since, our D-line is actually doing a little bit better. The points that we've been giving up, it's been getting less and less and less every week. It's gone from 21 to 20 to 17 to 15. Against Oakland, I'm gonna really gonna call that 13 because that other touchdown was kind of a trash touchdown against our backups. And then last week, 13. So our defense is doing a lot better. I don't care about the spread and the over under 57 or whatever. Our defense is doing a lot better. Our young corners gotta get their heads around, of course. And I still think there's a need to draft for safety. We need to still draft some more uh, linebackers. Even with our offense, we have some MIA wide receivers right now. With uh, Jason Avon, we haven't heard too much from him. Demaris Johnson, we haven't heard too much from him. So yeah, is this our fin finished product? No, it's not, and I get it. But for what we have right now, and who we're trying to bring in little by little, like Brad Smith, and then we have to wait for our draft, this is what we have right now. This is what we gotta go with right now. And as Philadelphia fans, we have to support what we got right now and look towards our future. So Philadelphia fans, let's keep the positive energy. Eagles, we're trying to go with you and realize this is not the finished product, but this is a work in progress, but you gotta give us some wins at home so we have something to cheer about. And all in all, let's just win. Let's have a good time doing it. And let's pull all of our heart out, heart out there, like I was saying before, like, like our AI over in, in, in the Sixers, Let's continue to bring our heart, not just away anymore. Let's do it here at home. So here from Philadelphia, from Broad Street, let's get off our birds. Let's bring home a victory. Let's break, let's, <laughs> let's beat Robert Griffin III and the Washington Redskins and send them back to DC with their season over and ours just really beginning. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments out there from my YouTube viewers. I appreciate it from the heart. Let's go birds. As we always do, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Beat Washington. Fly, Eagles, fly, on the road to...